Okay, so this is one that came up um, at work with a client, um, and this is the site. So this is a real site. Um, this is, you know, my local version of it. But basically, there's a form you can fill out, and people fill it out to um, be matched with a therapist. Now, when they hit enter and they send the message, you can see that it says this little sending thing. And so what this does is it submits the form and then it sends an email to somebody, but it sends it on a background queue. Now that's sort of just stuck at sending. Um, so why is that? So let's go, so yeah, basically that's the issue. It's, it seems to be broken. So we go into the code. I can see here that there's a, a live wire, you know, that we're in the right place. Okay, we've got this message. And I can see here that there is this, you know, live wire component. Um, and I could figure out what's going on with this, but rather than do that, I just, this is an easy HTMX thing, you know, to basically what I'm going to do is do polling on the status of the email, right? So we set up, I'm going to set up a new route, which is going to be this, uh, you know, sending status route. And when we do this polling, we want to check and see, you know, basically is this finished sending? Has it been sent to the queue? And the problem with polling is that it kind of just, um, you know, it keeps going and going. So you can imagine if you have hundreds or thousands of users and they're all using polling on something every five seconds, you know, this is like an unnatural amount of traffic. It doesn't, it's not efficient. Um, so what we're gonna do is instead of just having a never ending polling that just sits there and continues to poll, um, we are going to set it up so that it, you know, sends this UUID and checks the status every time. But when it finishes, it stops the polling, right? So this is like a self-destroying, self-destructing, self-destructing polling. Um, and it works because HTMX, you know, sends back the hypermedia controls that you need. So it needs, you know, so we send back the control that continues to do the polling until it doesn't need to be sent anymore. So in this case, we have HX trigger equals every two seconds. So we'll just hit that every two seconds. And we do just a regular swap outer HTML. So it's gonna replace this div, right? So our div is just gonna say, okay, we're sending here, right? So, okay, now we can go into, we just sort of look at what our you know, what our setup used to be in the live wire component. Um, and we can just clear that out. We don't need that anymore, but I'll copy that just for the sake of, you know, consistency so that it looks the same. Um, and this is not necessarily live wire's fault that it didn't work. It's, I'm sure I did something, but it was working for like two years without any issues. And all of a sudden it just stops doing something. So whatever the reason, I don't really care. We're, we're replacing it with a really simple HTMX thing here. Okay. So we have our div in place that is gonna just say sending. Now we need to set up our route. Well, first let's do a little test and make sure that this is still functioning. Okay, good, so it's doing the same thing. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna set up a new route, right? So this is the sending status route, get UUID. Um, and we're gonna go to um, the main home. So home main is our controller here. So we're, now we're gonna add a check sending status here. So this checks this UUID and checks our queue. Okay. Um, okay, actually, we're just gonna skip. We're gonna skip the controller and just go straight to the view just to make it really simple, All right? We can do a tiny little bit of logic in our view, a little bit of PHP logic, it never hurt nobody, right? Um, okay, so we set up our PHP, we get our notification, we check the UUID, we get the first one. Of course, there's only one because it's a UUID. Now we check if there is a notification and the notification has been sent, then we do something. Otherwise, we're sending back that exact same snippet. And that snippet is gonna contain its polling right in it again. So when that snippet loads, it's gonna start doing the polling again. Now, if it finds it and it finds that the notification is there and that it's sent, it just has a new div that has no controls in it, no HTMX. It just says sent and the font is bold, all right? Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, now, so we can see that now it does the polling and I need to kick off this, you know, I, I change in the database what the sent is. 
so that I can simulate, you know, what would happen if it was actually sent. Um, so now you can see that it says it's sent. Um, and now we can push that live and that's it. So just to recap, what did it do? Um, we, we set up an HTMX div that called a route that checked a status. If the status was there, it sent back the same thing. If the status was different, it sent back the sent. So another way to do this would be to um, do HX trigger equals load. And that would do it as soon as that div was loaded, it would then, and you could put a delay of two seconds. So it would load it, and then it would, you know, after two seconds, send it again, load it, send it again, load it again. That's another way to do polling. The problem with that is that if something were to happen to that request that it sends off at load, um, then it never tries again. Whereas if you use the every two seconds, it will, if something happens to that request, you lose internet, whatever the issue is, um, it's gonna try again in another two seconds. So I like using the every two seconds, even if it's getting fully replaced with a new div. Um, okay, that's it, just a short one. This is a real live, you know, this this feature, this little, this little thing, it's not a big deal, but you know, it, it uh, took me just probably 10 minutes to implement and push live. Um, so very cool.